Hello everyone, I am Nicolo and welcome back to the Matter Tool video series. Today I will show you how to use the OPLS Discriminant Analysis Tool. The Orthogonal Projections to Latent Structure Analysis is a latent variable regression method based on covariance that models uh, separately the variations of the predictors correlated and orthogonal to the response. The resulting variable importance in projection, VIP, uh, can be used to preliminary screen metabolites that differ, for example, between different species or tissues. Next, I will show you how to use the tool. So, as usual, we start from the Cloud Tool page. We select the tool that we want. This is on page 2. Here it is, and here is the interface of the tool. So on the left, we have uh, our entry parameters and we also, uh, where we upload our files. And on the right, we have three menus. We have a troubleshooting menu, a description menu, which explains how to use the tool and how the files should be operated, should, should be organized. And a brief introduction to the tool, which also shows um, how to edit the graphical output, which I will show anyway. So each task can be part of a larger project. In this case, we don't have one. Uh, here we have the name of the task. We can edit the name of the output file. And here we have our two input files. We have an input table file and a sample grouping file. Both files should be in the TXT file extension. They should employ UTF-8 data encoding and should be tab delimited. You can upload them here, or you can just select example data, which is available online if you want to do a trial run. So here is the logarithm conversion parameter, which can be set either true or false, and it simply determines whether you want uh, your entry values to be converted into the um, base to logarithm value of the same, or uh, you know, if you just want to use them as they are, you can just select false. And here we have the normalization parameter, and you can select uh, a number of them, or you can just leave it at none. And then finally, the last parameter is the VIP threshold. So this one can also be edited, and from a strictly uh, graphical point of view, uh, values that are above this threshold will be color-coded uh, red, while everything else will be uh, black in the final output. Um, after you're done, you can just hit submit and then later you can check your example results. So here we are. From here you can view, the, view them or you can download them directly. I will visualize them first since uh, uh, we can also edit uh, um, the, their appearance. So. As you can see, this is an interactive diagram, so you can hover over each entry point, and from here you can edit the graphical output. We can add a title, we can edit the font, you can edit pretty much everything you want of the graphical output. Edit the color. And also the grid. And that's it. This concludes the introduction on this tool. Next, we will see how to use the Network Diagram tool. You can follow Network Bio on our social media and I hope to see you in the next video.